Well, here we are at uh, Herdhawk's house, and uh, I'm going to show you a new little device that a friend of mine has invented, and it is an excellent, excellent little unit. All right, now the guy that invented this is a, uh, uh, a guy named Gary Chance, and he hasn't told me what the, uh, the name of the unit is going to be, so I'm going to christen it the Last Chance Concentrator. All right, uh, today we have Greg, who is going to help us out here, all right? And uh, Greg is going to show us exactly what is involved in this unit. Right. Got a little construction going on in the background, so don't mind the sound of saws. All right, with this unit, you get a five-gallon bucket, and inside that five-gallon bucket is mounted a bilge pump, all right? With a... Uh, a connection on the outside, a plumbing connection, standard uh, hose valve, and uh, that will provide the water for the unit. Also with the unit, you get this little T-bar down here, and that is going to be the uh, support for the sluice portion of this unit. It comes with a section of hose, and as you can see down here, this is your standard battery connectors, all right? Over here is a plug-in for your cigarette lighter or power port on your car, all right? And if, uh, Gary, you want to grab the, or Greg, you want to grab the uh, connector there and show us, show us the connector first itself, okay? Now, this connector, let me see, okay, is used on solar power panels right and you can use this unit with a solar panel so that's why we have the connector there now each of these other accessories will plug right into that today we're going to plug into the uh, uh, let's see just the regular battery clips there I think will be fine all right. all right slide that little pup together now included in the unit is 12 feet of cord all right so basically if uh, Gary wanted to run down to my truck and pop the hood and hook that up to the battery of the truck he could do that but today we're gonna just hook it up to a 12 volt power supply I've got set up here so uh, we will do that in a second I'll now have Gary go ahead and assemble the unit or Greg how okay sorry about that Greg is helping Gary is the, is the inventor and we'll try and keep the saw noises down to a science there, so. All right. All right, so basically it's just gonna connect the hose. Then we'll go ahead and fill the, uh, the bucket up with water. All right. We better make sure the valve's closed too. Good thinking. <laughs> All right. And the assembly on this is a matter of minutes. No problem at all. all right. uh, Gary will be selling these units. And right now he told me his price point is going to be 100 bucks, which for a completely self-contained unit that will operate off uh, solar panels or your car battery or any little battery you want to bring along, this is an outstanding value and we're going to test the efficiency of the unit here in just a moment okay now greg is going to take the support bar place it in the bottom of the sluice set the sluice into into the bucket there we go I'm trying to wait for saw noises to stop. All right, uh, so you can see how simple this thing is to set up. As I come up here, I'm going to show you the sluice itself is just your standard gutter sluice. Good. Hang up with the All right, trying to scream over the sound of a skill saw next door. All right, 
Now the sluice is a rain gutter sluice. It has deep V matting at the beginning. Then, or excuse me, it has standard V matting at the beginning, right? And then runs down there to the deep V, right? Now you notice there's a couple of little sections there where there's a piece of the rib missing. Uh, Gary just excises those in case a larger piece of gold starts moseying down. It's kind of a, a little teeny nugget trap, let's call it that. All right, we run down the sluice to the edge of the bucket. All the water is going to run right down back into the bucket for a recirculation system. All right, now over here you can see we have taken some sluice cons and we have classified them to 1 8 inch. All right, and Greg will be feeding this sluice with a uh, with a tablespoon. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to have to grab the cord and plug it in. That cord. All right. Sorry about that. A little lack of planning on our uh, our part as far as setting this puppy up. All right. And there's the cord. Now we should get a little water flowing as soon as we open the valve and we'll adjust the water flow through the unit. It'll take a second for the uh, hose to fill up with water All right. and we'll get this puppy motating. Motate, motate. Come on water. Open the valve a little more. It's open all the way. It is open all the way? Yep. All right. Uh, that's not a good thing what's going on that's causing us not to have water. All right, I'm going to cut the video off at this point because we have a technical difficulty. All right, we had an air bubble in the hose that wasn't allowing the bilge pump to uh, operate correctly, so we had to uh, purge the air from the unit. And now we have flow starting here. Let's get the V right back to about here, so adjust it a little slower. There we go. All right. There we go. So we got the V of the water right to the beginning of the black mat, the inspection mat there. Okay, and Greg is going to start feeding this little puppy one spoonful at a time. And I'm going to try and get around here. And we will watch this stuff run down. Holy cow. Wow. I'm going to have to try and get this. Uh, that's gold, guys. Just sitting there right at the beginning of the sluice. All right. oh, this is cool. And look at that gold start accumulating. You gotta remember that black mat inspection mat right there was completely clean when we started this demonstration. And that is downright amazing. I'm going to try and back up here and get a little better angle and maybe a little less reflection. I don't know how this is going to work. One spoonful at a time, a little wobbly there, got to back off, and yeah. well, we got to call Maddie and Kevin out here and have them look, they'd go nuts. there for the last bit of material. Okay. And we'll just grab a little water, slosh that on down, and there we go. All right. So now the question is, does this thing work? Are you kidding me? 
look at the amount of gold that is in this black mat. I'm going to kind of see if I can zoom up, okay? Now we've got one big piece of gold stuck in that little nugget trap we were talking about. I'm trying to get away from the reflection here to see if we can hold back up and see if I can zoom in on that. And look at that gold right there in the nugget trap. All right. Oh, this worked out like a charm. Okay, coming on down in the deep V, we see your standard accumulation of black sands and things, but I'm not seeing any gold past about the nugget trap. Yeah, right about, yeah. yeah a tiny piece right there. Tiny piece right there. Okay, the second nugget trap's got a piece of gold in it, but everything else on down is clear. All right. So that is shows that the unit is working quite efficiently. And let's go up here and we look at the gold starting at the beginning of that. Oh baby, that is sweet stuff. All right, well, that's basically it. We uh, have the unit set up running. I'll go ahead and pan that gold out and uh, we'll show you a shot of the pan right here at the, at the end to show you what kind of uh, recovery this unit will do. And beyond that, this is the last chance gold concentrator. The entire unit, hose, pump, everything, a hundred bucks. What a deal. I'll publish Gary's phone number and email address at the end of this uh, video. And that'll let you come in and get a, uh, get a hold of Gary and order one if you want. Okay, basically, what I've got here is the uh, the cons from the sluice concentrator here, the last chance concentrator. I like that. I hope he likes that name we've christened it with. Uh, and I'm just going to pan this stuff out real quick so we can take a look at the amount of gold that we do have running through from the other sluice concentrates. Now we used a, uh, a dropper full sluice, actually used the little buddy dropper full sluice from uh, California Sluice Box Company to run this material through. And so we had very, very small amount of concentrates at the end. And we figured we'd run them through Gary's last chance concentrator. And it shows up with some amazing gold. running off here for you real quick and we'll get down to a reveal and just to show you what uh, you know how well the unit works what we're gonna do is take the material in the bottom of the bucket and uh, pan that out to see if there's any gold left in that or if anything went down the sluice and didn't uh, didn't get caught in the little riffles so we'll be able to tell you exactly how efficient this is. Yeah, with that number of riffles and the small water flow, this should be about 99% efficient. Yeah, every once in a while you get that little piece of float gold that will actually float on the water. and Those are difficult. Uh, if you want to eliminate that, you can put a couple of drops of uh, jet dry into the water in the uh, in the concentrator and that will break the surface tension on the water so even that uh, gold that would float will drop to the bottom and uh, therefore be recovered all right I've got some fly poop in here it's just tiny 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 stuff all right. so I'm running through these black sands a little more carefully than I would normally do. And of course, since you're on video, you want to get it done in a hurry here. But that is the way it goes. Right. That's a yellow rock, not a piece of gold going down, so I don't want anybody to get excited. Right. Right. Now that is a piece of gold that showed up there. I'll get this really heavy silvery stuff out of there as much as possible. 
And I think we're ready for a reveal because that's a hellaciously nice pan of gold right there. Look at that. All right. Okay. I do have to mention the fact that uh, this gold came out of one of Rick's secret holes. <laughs> and this is beautiful. All right. And there's a little trick to going. We got nothing but really, really heavy black sands right here. All right. I'm going to place a little bit of water over the gold and tap this side. And you can see that gold is just going to march right out of the black sands, even the really, really teeny stuff. And it's all going to gang up over here on this other side. So now I can take my finger and move this stuff away, except for that little piece of gold. And uh, that just helps you clean up faster, shall we say. All right. All right. And this material I can shake off. Oop, is that? No, that was a that was a piece of buckshot. That wasn't a piece of gold. Now there's a piece of gold that's so big that it charged on down there. All right. get rid of all that extraneous material. That piece of gold is so big and chunky and heavy that if I tilt the pan it wants to go. Alright. I do a little final clean up here and we'll get some nice clean gold to look at. Alright, that's that. tap, get rid of one piece of lead, two pieces of lead, All right, and that, believe it or not, is some very, very, very nice gold. Don't you wish that happened every day? Greg's going, I'm sorry I can't talk, I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll cut the video off and uh, we'll go ahead and pan out the stuff out of the bottom of the bucket just to make sure. All right, well, <clears throat> we're now ready for the reveal on the uh, material out of the bottom of, of Gary's last chance bucket concentrator. And we're looking to see if there's any gold going to show up. Thus far, I see none. Okay. Right up against the one below the light. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, it did a good job because I am not seeing a single piece of fly poop. And there's the end of it right there. And there is no gold at all. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, well, the unit works with high efficiency. And as far as a recommendation, Herthog says, this is a nice little unit and the price is definitely right.